703 and I just picked up Starbucks because I felt like I deserved a treat because today is the day where I am at school for a long time until seven. Not that I've never been there before that late, but it's just different when it's conference week and you're just actively meeting and talking all day. So I felt like if there was ever a day where I deserved just a midweek Starbucks, today is the day. Um, I actually got a hot drink because it's cold in California. Like it's, it's chilly and by chilly it's 63 degrees right now. Um, and the highs are, have been in the 70s, like the mid to upper 70s. Uh, so having a cold drink in the morning just hasn't been what I wanted because it's cooler in the morning and then it warms up. So I tried something new. I'm gonna taste it right now. I don't remember the exact specifics of it. I just know that I was playing around and we'll see what happens. Um, but later on at some point, either in this vlog or in the description box, I'll tell you what this is. But let's see if I even like it. It smells funny. Hmm. It's good. I think what I got was like a vanilla blonde. Is, I don't even know if that's what it's called. It's just something I've never gotten before because the hot drinks that I normally get were all out of season. And I took out the vanilla syrup but added sugar-free vanilla syrup. And then I added maple brown. I, maple brown syrup or something that I put in there that I thought, like, what could go wrong? Um, and I think I was right. And I added, like, some stevia. So, it's good. I'll be sure to share that with you later. Um, but I'm just gonna vlog now because I honestly don't know that I'll vlog at all during the day because I think we have conferences like back to back to back all the way until like seven with the exception of a dinner break. So um, in terms of conference week and student-led conferences, I do like it. I think next year we could probably make the vlogs 10 minutes long. Right now we have them at 20 minutes and I feel like we, by the 10 minute mark, we've pretty much like gotten everything taken care of Taylor and I are holding them jointly whereas year in years past we would set a 20 minute block but we would see two families at a time like I would be meeting with one student and my partner teacher which at the time was not Taylor would be meeting with a different student and then at the 10 minute mark we would swap so we were seeing two kids or two families at a time in a 20 minute block whereas with the student-led conferences we're not really doing that um, we are holding them jointly and it's still a 20 minute block, but I think we can get it done in 10 minutes. Because with the 20 minute block, we have like a few less time slots available than families we need to see. So I'm gonna talk to Taylor about that today and see how she feels about next year. Like, do you think we can get these done in 10 minutes? Teaching wise, I'm gonna go ahead and give the close read writing assignment to my classes today. My homeroom class is gonna have a little bit more time, like they're a little bit ahead than my switch class, but I think there's enough time in both classes for them to at least start it. I don't, I decided not to do any sort of history or social studies instruction today to give them plenty of time to get this written response planned out and written. Um, and initially I wasn't going to require them to plan it out, but I have since changed my mind because I had this epiphany where I was like, Latanya, what was the point of you walking them through all the steps and then saying, at least right now, you're not required to follow these steps because unfortunately we know most kids won't do it, even though it's good for them, um, won't do it if they know that they don't have to. And then they're going to write something that is subpar and then consequently get a subpar grade, but then not really understand why the grade is subpar. So they're not going to like it, but I am going to require it. And I think I'm going to require it for the close reads until I feel like it's becoming like a habit. Because when I did this in third grade, I did require it, um, but there were times where they were writing something and it wasn't required and kids started using it because they started to see like the value in planning and how it makes things easier. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that for them and kind of give them some guidelines on how to plan things out. 
and really try and help them structure it so that it is a multi-paragraph essay now that I think about it just really kind of getting them to that place where they understand like you know they're about to transition to high school and the rigor in terms of the um, amount of writing they should be doing and be comfortable with doing is really going to increase so that is the plan. I'm not going to do any history instruction. So those pages or that chapter I was referring to in yesterday's book, we're not going to get to that today, um, which is fine because I didn't even get to read those chapters, finish reading those chapter or that chapter last night. And then the downfall is it's not on Audible. I just like using Audible whenever I can to give like them a break from hearing me talk, me a break from having to read. So the adult version of the book is on Audible but the one for young people is not available on Audible. So we will be reading that together. So those are the plans. Um, I think either PTSA or the school is providing dinner today. I have no idea what it is. Um, I have leftovers, leftovers just in case it's something I don't want to eat. And speaking of which, I'm very impressed with myself after I speak, finish speaking to you guys. In that hour I had, I got all of the dinner cooked. I got my clothes pulled out for today and ironed and made it to my Orange Theory class on time. I didn't think I was going to be able to accomplish that, but I did. So that was that. The dinner was great. I have lunch today, so that's good. But yeah, I am going to just say that I'll talk to you much later in the day. <laughs> if I have a break in between conferences, I might pop in, but I really, if I remember correctly, they are back to back to back. So dress comfortably so that I could at least have that going for me and uh, that's it so I will talk to you guys later 724 I just got home maybe 10 minutes ago and I am tired <laughs> we had conferences back to back to back starting at 1 30 and then we had a break from like 5 to 5 40 for dinner and then we went back and finished at seven. So I'm tired. Um, I'm only here to close out the vlog and to let you know specifically the drink that I ordered in case you wanna try it. It's pretty, I guess, as my mom would say, I think it would be considered rich. Like it definitely is not light in flavor. So it's a Starbucks blonde vanilla latte. Um, I got it in a grande size with non-fat non milk, stevia, three pumps of apple brown sugar syrup. That's what I added. Apple brown sugar syrup, and I probably could have added less to make it less like intense in a certain way. And then I took out the regular vanilla creamer and I put in four pumps of sugar-free vanilla syrup. Or I took out the regular vanilla syrup and added four pumps of sugar-free vanilla syrup, and it was good. It tasted like a little treat. So um, that's what I got in case you want to try it and that's all i can say right now i'm tired um we started the essay in class i'll have to kind of maybe debrief how that went tomorrow but tomorrow is going to be just like today so maybe friday and just in terms of how the kids responded especially if i talk about on friday they would have had a couple days and we'll be able to talk about how it went they just kind of got the process started today so I'm gonna close the vlog here. So if you enjoyed today's little quick check-in, give this video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And if you're not following me on Instagram, head over there. Follow me at Smarty Style. And as always, I hope that you guys are well. And if you're not well, please be well. And I will see you tomorrow. Good night.